In this episode of our Summer with Mom van life road trip, my mom finally satisfies her cravings and we all spend an unforgettable night in the camper together. <laughs> <laughs> This video is sponsored by Storyteller Overland. Live free, explore endlessly, and tell better stories. With views like this, it was difficult for us to pack up the van and leave Colorado. But there are so many more places to visit and people to see on this camper van road trip that it was time to get back on the road. As we made our way south towards New Mexico, we drove by the earth ship structures along Highway 64. Although we didn't have time to check out these passive solar houses made of natural and upcycled materials, I know Kate will want to come back sometime and take the self-guided tour. We just arrived in town, New Mexico, and my mom has been dying for good Mexican food. So she found a place. She's already taking Charlie over there. Kate's going to hang back in the van, get some work done, relax, have some alone time. And I'm going to go explore Tao with my mom. Have fun. Thank you. All right. Wish me luck. So are you excited about your Mexican meal that you've been talking about? <laughs> you know, I never used to eat Mexican food at all. And then I started getting a taste and enjoying it more and more. And I just had to have it in Taos and New Mexico. I'm very, and it's so delicious. Mmm. Charlie got her fair share of treats and my mom certainly enjoyed her first margarita made with wine instead of tequila. It's delicious. And you can't, I can't tell. It's not that much different from tequila. I don't know what they did to make the taste. You want to taste it? No, I don't. I'm good. Mm, that's very good. Almost as good as a salsa and guacamole. My ceviche really hit the spot, and Mom loved her combination plate with rice and beans. Well, we decided the rain is coming in, so we are going to skip walking around the little downtown area here and just head straight down to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Especially since... The reservation, which is supposed to be such a fascinating place to visit, is closed. It ended up being a beautiful drive along the Rio Grande River towards Santa Fe, New Mexico. By the time we rolled into town, it was already 7.30 p.m., so we decided to go for a stroll, even though it was still 90 degrees. The welcome to breeze kept us cool as we checked out the notable sites, including the oldest church structure in the United States. We got an early start the next morning, so there was enough time to explore Santa Fe before continuing our journey east. My mom did get a hotel for the night, so Kate and I camped in the parking lot, along with Charlie, right? Since the hotel charges an extra fee for dogs, Charlie slept with us in the van. Charlie's always excited because her food is right back here, so every time I open the door, she thinks she's getting fed. <laughs> I have to say, when you first hit the road in one of these things, everything is so well organized. And then as time goes on, it all somehow explodes. So I, I figure every couple weeks we're going to have to go through here and reorganize everything. I think it's one of those things where you're kind of in a rush, you just throw things places, and then all of a sudden everything is someplace else. <sighs> okay. You ready, Charlie? Let's slow it up. Come on. Up. Good girl. With Miss Charlie ready to roll, my mom checked out of her hotel and we made our way back towards the town center. On our drive, my mom said she missed spending the night with us in the van and having all of us together in the morning. This is really a beautiful town though, in my, for my taste. We parked the van next to the Santa Fe Plaza and Kate stayed behind so she could get caught up on editing these Summer with Mom videos. One thing my mom is great at is meeting people. Everywhere she goes, she gets into conversations and I feel like her meeting people as we're going across the country really adds to the trip for her. So what do you think now that you're able to see this during the day? It's incredible. I mean, just look at the stonework. I can't wait to see the altar inside. It's supposed to be magnificent. This is the oldest chapel in the United States. I'm so anxious to go in. I don't think we can see the altar though. I think it's closed. So I have to say, Santa Fe is a pretty nice area to walk around, see the art, go into stores and things. 
My mom is currently in a gallery checking some stuff out. I'm hanging out outside with Charlie, and that seems to be the MO for the day, which I think is good for her, so she has time to go in and see things. Charlie gets a nice walk, and I can take care of her while she's doing her thing. Looks like you found a, a gentleman on your travels. Oh, yes, and what a handsome, magnificent specimen <laughs> it is. So wow. what, else, what else would you like to go see? I am just so taken with this this beautiful art, not just the crafts things that they try to sell, but some of this incredible sculptures and paintings. Wonderful, wonderful things. This is just a sample. So just a sample. you've already purchased a few things, spent some money. Yes, I have. <laughs> do you want to go look at some more shops or what would you like to do? Well, I have the gifts that I wanted to buy. Uh huh. I, I am enjoying the galleries more than you know, I don't really shop for myself, but I wouldn't mind having a lightweight top or something that will make me look more dressy in the evening. Mm -hmm. Something. These are my camping clothes, <laughs> and when we get to other places, I want to be able to go out to dinner and feel dressed up. We may need to implement the one-in-one one out rule with you at some point. That or we're going to have to hire something to tow. <laughs> Although we saw some of these sculptures last night, we were able to appreciate them even more during the day. After walking around town for over two hours, we made our way back to the van to check in on Kate and make some lunch. Hard at work? Trying to get the next video edited. All right, well, we had a good walk. Good. And now just going to have a little lunch. What are you making? Uh, let's see. I've got summer sausage, bread, and avocado. And beautiful cheddar cheese, almond butter. We're good. With a long afternoon drive ahead of us, Kate and I took turns behind the wheel as we made our way towards Amarillo, Texas via Interstate 40. My mom and Charlie enjoyed the ride as we bid farewell to New Mexico. Howdy y'all, it's good to be back in Texas in the central time zone. With Kate behind the wheel, I wasn't surprised when she pulled over to check out the roadside fruit stand. We got two melons, I hope they're good. The best melon we've had so far on this road trip was in Green River, Utah. So we'll see how Texas melon compares. I, I do like Texas melons when we've had them in the past. <laughs> we'll see. We drove to Palo Duro Canyon State Park to see if we could grab a campsite for the night and see the Grand Canyon of Texas. Unfortunately, the campground we we're planning to go to is closed. Or not closed, it's full. <laughs> you My need brain, coffee. <laughs> I do need coffee. So we are going to get back on the road and start heading towards Oklahoma and see what we can find along the way. I am going to cut into one of the melons though so we can have road snacks. Oh, which one are you going for? The cantaloupe. Okay. Since it was already 7.30 p.m. by the time we got back on the road, we decided to keep driving until we got tired and found a spot to spend the night somewhere along Interstate 40. So we just got to a rest area in Texas along the 40. We're almost in Oklahoma, but this is a Route 66 uh, rest area and it's actually really cool inside. It's a nice area. I'm going to see if my mom wants to camp at the rest area overnight tonight because you can park overnight in Texas at a rest area. So let's see. All right. So what do you think about staying at the rest area? Listen, those bathrooms in there are cleaner than anything we'd find on the road, aren't they? They're wonderful. I have no problem with that. Okay, we'll stay at your first you, rest area for the night. Are you sure they don't close? Yes, they're open the all night long. If you'd like, we can break open a bottle of wine. That sounds like a plan. Are we gonna eat anything tonight? If you'd like to. Are you gonna eat anything tonight? Are you? I already ate. What? Bread. Oh, well maybe I won't eat either. Okay. Although I am just like, oh, I would love to have a juicy hamburger and pizza right now. Is there a prettier place to park? Well, no, we're so close to the restrooms. Well, I'm going to park a little further down so that we uh, don't have people parking next to us all night long. Charlie, up. Good girl. There, we're in our home safe from all those mosquitoes. My mom has been having trouble opening the sliding door, which is understandable. It's not the easiest thing. The first night I had no trouble, so why did I have trouble the second night? You were drinking. <laughs> but, so... And the third night. The funny thing is, 
she's trying to she's trying not to wake us up uh, and have us have to get up out of bed to help her. But okay, Charlie, when don't she's you worry. tugging on the door, she's yelling at the door verbally, <laughs> waking us up. I'm not yelling. I am talking. <laughs> I'm cursing. Actually, is what I'm doing. So let's have you open the door. It's very easy. The storyteller is everything that's right. It's just me that's wrong. So bring it back. Easy. Okay. Easy peasy, as they would say in Greece. See? All right. No problems. Would you like a drink? Of course. What would you like? Uh, what do we have left? Uh, we have red. We still have the Costco box wine. That's four bottles of wine. Oh well, I guess we better start drinking fast. There's your bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's the bed pad. Oh! The magical mom wine fridge. There you go. I did not know we had wine back there. This is the wine that um, Bill and Loreen gave me for my birthday. Mom, your multi-purpose drink everything in cup. Thank you. I think on one of the stores we stop, I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a wine glass. Uh, where are you gonna put said wine glass? I don't. I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> but you don't buy anything for yourself, so. That's for the camper. <laughs> the camper doesn't need a wine glass. The no, camper doesn't need it. <laughs> hey, cheers. Cheers. Nobody in the world's going to think I'm an attractive woman after your videos. <laughs> <laughs> we can tell everyone you're single. Hey, <laughs> 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 out there in, in RV land. <laughs> Let me do this and get it the hell over with. I'm tired. I'm ready. <laughs> hey. Did it no no excuses at three in the morning it doesn't matter i have an assistant to help me <laughs> <laughs> we have an assistant who's your oh you mean the attendant yes he said he will insist assist in any way did but you get his phone number so you can text him to come oh. open the door for you <laughs> That's an idea. I will the next time I go. I can't believe this rest area has an attendant. Now, Kate and I have slept at many rest areas around the U.S., but it was a whole new experience with my mom. I'm sure we'll be looking back on this memory for a long time and laughing about it. How you doing? I actually got a good night's sleep last night. I feel well rested. <laughs> I know you don't. That's, I guess I'll do the driving today. So we're off to Oklahoma today? Yes, ma'am. Oklahoma, figure out where we wanna go. Okay, let's get y'all caffeinated. It's a good idea. Thanks y'all for watching this episode of Summer with Mom. Stay tuned for the next episode and don't forget to share, like, and leave a comment for my mom.